I'll never forget the first time I tried my mom's e-bike for the first time. I'm used to just a single speed. I'm climbing hills. I'm exhausted. I take her bike for a spin and I'm just laughing. I was giggling on the street at how fast I could go with no effort. It's fun times. Now we have the Cadillac of bikes upon us. Fat tires. A fat tire bike that can ride through the Arctic tundra on your way to the flat earth ice wall that surrounds our earth. We, we should talk. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we got the Hemiway Step Through All Terrain Fat Tire Bike. It goes about 38 kilometers an hour. It's fast, it's skippy. It's got some skip in those hips. What, what is that in miles? Nobody even knows what a kilometer is. 23.6, that's fast. Faster than your grandmother. This is my first time trying a fat tire bike. They can ride on snow, sand, wind. They can go anywhere, up mountains, on ice, maybe don't, don't even try it. I took it on a little off-road adventure this morning. We had fun. So we got the Hemiway. Hemiway with fat boy tires. I gotta be honest with you. I have never rode something so fun. How the hell? I have my keys right here just hanging off the brake. Wow, that is dangerous. That looked, how is this even working without the keys? Seriously, who does that? How did this even turn on? Oh God, oh God. Let's just say it's on now and was on the whole time. So these are 26 by four Kenda fat tires, the juggernauts. And I gotta say, it's not just for off-roading. Yeah, they're gonna be a little slower than smooth road tires on your little Nancy road bike. But like there's benefits, like we have streetcar tracks in Toronto. You just ride right over those things. You couldn't get stuck. People have died because their skinny little wheels get stuck in a track, they fall off, streetcar's like, sorry, I, we have to make up time. We have to stay on schedule. Run over dead. So these things like up curbs, potholes, like anything, you just go. It's got shocks, not bad. This thing goes forever too. They say 35 to 60 miles per charge. That's insane. I don't, I went for a long ride today, probably like eight kilometers or something, but it barely dented that battery. I feel like you could go anywhere you'd ever want and back and forget your keys, go back and get them and come back again. Four trips. I mean, are fat bikes as good as tall bikes? I, not really, they're not really comparable. It's not in the same ballpark. Those things are so safe looking, these tall bikes. If you fall off, you just drop and roll like a fire and you're just always safe. That's what I love about the tall bike. Do they have electric tall bikes? They should. All right, we're now testing out the pedal assist feature. So when you pedal, it assists you. Oh yeah. Okay, you can still pedal good. The gears, I've been on bikes before where the gears like weren't slow enough. You're just spinning your wheels. You couldn't even help. This feels good. It feels like I'm just Herculean. There's birds. Where's my telephoto lens? I'm doing wildlife with a GoPro. Oh yeah. It's got a 350 pound payload. So if you're someone like me, 140 pounds, you could bring with you an extra person on the back or just a lot of furniture. It's got the bike rack, groceries. I've been known to carry like 60 pounds of groceries home. You get the little pannier racks, not bad. Now I'm a scooter whore myself. I prefer just the simplicity. I kind of like standing. I like the lightness. I like how much little space scooters take up as opposed to this giant thing in my house. But there are benefits that I can't tout as a scooter whore. With my nine bot max, I'm not going off road. I was taking this thing through bushes. It was fun. Sure, there are off road scooters, but mine doesn't do it. So this thing can go off road. You can carry more groceries with that rear rack. I'm limited to a knapsack and whatever I can put on the handlebars. There's no like, you're not bringing home a chair 
This bike also has much stronger torque, even though my 9Bot Max will make it up any hill I've ever tried, this will also do that, and more. In icy hills maybe, snowy hill I bet I could make it up a mountain, but compared to most scooters it's just much faster and much longer range. I was going 38 kilometers an hour, my 9Bot maxes out at like 30, sometimes 31. It's just I noticed the speed increase and it feels safe because you're on this fat bike and you're just flying, you're whipping, whipping through the terrain. I was going to take it on an endurance test today, but my hands were so cold. It was like minus 10 and I just got these new gloves. Oh, they're thin. I got them so I could push buttons for photography, videography, not photos. I misspoke. And they do nothing to protect from the wind. So I was like, almost frostbite, frostbitten. So I was like, I'm coming home. It barely dented the battery. It probably lasts forever. I'm leaving. If I had any complaints, you know I could find some. To call this a step through bike, you need the athleticism of LeBron James just to get through it. My initial plan for this bike was to give it to my mom because she rides e-bikes and I was like, she ain't stepping through this thing. Every time I try it, you don't have much room. It's like you gotta... And then these little spikes, those are fun. They always catch on something. So it's like right in the spine, right in the spine. So I had to take a couple Taekwondo classes just to get in there. That's my only complaint. And I don't love that it can be started without the keys. That's, I thought that's what keys were for. Just right in there to, someone could just ride it off buy it. So when it comes to the cons, the step through things, a little difficult unless you know Taekwondo. The keys not locking the bike, but it locks the battery to the bike at least. So that's nice. So you have to unlock it to get the battery out. You can't just take it like that scooter I reviewed. The only real negative I can think of is how big it is and how heavy it is. I live on the third floor of an apartment with no elevator and I came home with this thing and I'm like, it was a struggle. The struggle was real getting up there. I almost, I started turning the motor. I was like, can we just ride up? Like it did not work. That was hard. And it's just tough to store. It's a junior one bedroom, but like, that's probably not your situation. You have a garage and a house, Mr. Fancy House. I bought it way back in the day for 150 grand. Yeah, it must be nice, but it's darn fun. I tell you, it was easy to put together. It feels well built. It's like a solid piece of machinery, a fine tuned, just a m Wow, that was my light that fell off, not a part of the bike. Ooh, that looks even nicer. Those Ulanzi magnetic lights are not very powerful. Although that piece was not even metal, that's probably why. So do I recommend that you buy one through my affiliate link with a discount code? Save $50 on your first purchase. I think my code is less than just the random code you get on the site, so do whatever you have to do, but not bad. These could be yours if you click the links down below. Thank you, Hemiway, for sending it to me. Is it the strongest headlight you ever seen? It is, actually. I could see in pitch black. Safe. I feel safe. I'm gonna leave. Not after you subscribe. For more videos, and I'll see you in the next. I didn't sell out. You sold out.